to another short and sweet where the reviews are short. And it's really sweet that they shared it with us. It's really sweet. The Four Roses shared their 2024 LE with us. Only what, 16,000 and some change bottles out 16, there in the world? 16,000 in the US, $220 suggested retail price. This is a 12 to 20 year blend of uh, a handful of their 10 different recipes. Mm -hmm. 108.2 proof. Mm-hmm. Well, let's just go ahead and hit you with the bona fides. Give us the stats. So uh, there's a 12-year OBSV in here, along with a 15-year OESK, a 16-year OESF, and a 20-year OBSV. OBSV is like one of my favorite ones. Mm, so, yeah. and if you're unfamiliar, that's just denoting of the mash bill and the yeast strain. Uh, I really love, I feel like, you know, Four Roses requires a decoder ring, but once you get it, it's kind of cool. Um, <laughs> yeah, you can I, speak their language. Yeah, you speak their language. Like you know binary, how binary, yeah. whatever, I don't know. Ones and zeros. Now, obviously, the, okay, on the nose. Uh, so obviously the 220 is the suggested retail price. You will see this for more. There are some states that have to sell it at that 220 because they're a control state. There are some retailers that they mark it up a little bit, but to keep their reputation, they don't, you know, really jack it up. And then there's other places that don't care and we'll put a $600 price tag on this. Or more. We are reviewing this for the $220 suggested retail price. So mm. Be known. I'm embarrassed by my facial expressions and behavior. <laughs> embarrassed by your face? I, I am. My face is embarrassing. Oh, that's very buttery. Brown butter. Little brown jug. Hoo, 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 hoo. Little brown jug. I haven't. No? What the? Hoo. You all know. I haven't got a clue. <laughs> oh my gosh. Like. Yeah. Silky. It's making my mouth water. It smells like, you talk about this sometimes, Chad, it's, it smells like it's gonna have a really nice viscosity to it. Like it's gonna be buttery or creamy, oily, something like that. I do be There's saying that. A nice balance of butterscotch and brown sugar on the nose with delicate but present oak. It's present not oak. overpowering. because you Clear know, you've and got present oak. Clear and present oak. You've got uh, you know up to 20 years in here with some 15 and 16 year too, the youngest being 12. So for me personally, that could potentially become too oaky for me, but it does not appear that way on the nose. Let's find out though, to your health. Trust in Brent. Oh, I did it. Oh, that's a lot of oak. Oh, that is. Okay. And a, and a bigger pop of spice than I was expecting for the around the 108 proof. With the 20 year being an OBSV, that higher rye, again, we don't know how much is in there, but it's got spice and it's got age. Whoa, it's got oak coming on oh, the yeah. back end. It's wow. a lot of oak. Wow. <laughs> hmm. It, from the buildup that we gave on the nose, I don't feel it, uh, on this first sip anyway, has really been reflected. It's not that buttery, silky, smooth mouthfeel that we talked about the See, nose was giving off. It's hard for me to say. Even though it's 108.2 proof, I think it reads hotter than that. Agreed. I would say, I mean, not that it's negligible, but in the 115 area is what I would estimate. Not that far apart, but it kind of is when we're up in this range. I hesitate to say more before a second sip. You know, this is higher proof than anything else I've had today. This is much older than anything else I've had today. So I'm gonna give my palate a chance to get acclimated to it. And while yeah. that happens, Chad, do you think there's something that we should do? I know, I can tell you about our home on the internet. It's whiskeyambitions.com. It's where you can get the t-shirt, the hoodie that you're wearing, Sarah. Hey, my string? The hat that I'm wearing, the, of course, the Glencairns we're drinking from. In fact, all of our glassware. Uh, okay, I don't know what that string was. dance I don't over know there what I'm when you're Conan O'Brien. I don't know what I'm doing today. <laughs> Ding! Um, <laughs> he does that, not me. Okay. Uh, what, what was I saying? Oh yeah, our Elemental Elixir cocktail serve. More always coming soon at whiskeyambitions.com. And you can become a patron at patreon.com slash night and join our community for as little as one buck a month. And the support of our patrons helps us do all kinds of things throughout the year, from host events to get bottles and more. And then in return, we give them access to our barrel picks, some of which you can find on our website right now. Uh, discounts on the merch Chad was talking about, depending on their tier, and more. Second sip time. It's been a while since the first sip. See, I do think it has a good mouthfeel, but man, that spice, that dry spice and heat really comes in at the end. There's something very atypical of Four Roses here, and I feel like it's a hickory note, a hickory smoked, I don't know, fill in the blank, not a ham, but a hickory smoked uh, log, <laughs> oak. I mean, is hickory smoked oak? <laughs> I'm getting like a lot of extra charred, bitter oak. There's a little bit of bitterness. A little bit of bitterness yeah. from a, the amount of oak that's in here. 
And then also I get tobacco along with, there's me personally, I want just a little more balance between those desserty notes I talked about on the nose, you know, the brown sugar, butterscotchy type of thing and the oak. For me personally, this is leaning a little too oaky for me. Now, if you really love oak, this is probably it for you. You love oak. So yeah, if you've watched the channel before, you know I love oak, but this is a different type of oak. It's not just like you took, uh, what's a pretty oaky thing? Um, Knob Creek 18 That's year, what I was about to say, I wanna and, compare this and to. And turned it up to 20 or 21 year. It's not like that, I don't feel like. This is more like almost smoke, smoke and oak. That's what I meant by that extra charred wood. Yeah, very charred, very remnants of the fireplace after things have mm -hmm. died down type of thing. Um, and I think that bitterness is what is sort of giving off that imagery. Mm -hmm. So it's a, it's a much different type of oak that I'm used to. You know, like one of my favorite Four Roses expressions, and it's back here somewhere, is the Al Young, you love which Al goes Young. up to 23 year. And it's very oaky, but in more the way that like that Knob Creek 18 is oaky, mm -hmm. it's more like this, uh, almost like character as opposed to charred wood. Mm -hmm. For the past, I don't know, however many years we've ever gotten a Four Roses uh, limited edition. Since we, 2015, Zara. We have put it in our best of the year contention because it is so coveted and we do want to know where it lines up with everything else. And also we generally feel that it is an exceptional product. It's one best of the year blind. It has before. one best of the year blind before. This one is, this expression, the 2024, it's not, for me, up my alley. It's not necessarily hitting the mark for exceptional in terms of my definition, only because of that extra, extra oak. However, I am interested to see blind how it does when I don't know right, what yeah. the age range of what's in there is. I'm gonna have to echo those sentiments, Sarah. Um, and, and you know, this is a media sample. We've had it for a little bit. It hasn't been opened. It hasn't been opened though before, so maybe once it opens up in this glass bottle, this tiny media sample bottle, I don't know. Yeah, different than what I was what I was expecting. It's good in its own right, but I feel like an outlier from our past almost 10 years uh -huh. experience I of think, the uh, Four Roses at least. Yeah, I think this one will be a little bit more divisive within the community, but I don't know, I guess you guys will have to tell us. Have you tried it yet? If so, let us know down in the comments. What do you think? And if you haven't subscribed us already, you can do so by clicking right up here. There are suggestions of other videos down here. We'll hope to see you over there in one of those. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. Thank you, Four Roses. Until next time, drink more bourbon. Mm -hmm.